Welcome to another installment of our webinar series of Victoria and myself back on today. We've got an exciting session around our Galderma Aspire Awards integration with AR. And I'll go ahead and let you guys on the phone or on the line know right now this is step one. So we anticipate there being a much more advanced step coming soon. Um, I don't know anything for certain to, to share off on that right now, but I can let you know that we are working towards a second level integration and beyond. So what you're gonna to see today is the first level or the base level integration, which primarily connects your aesthetic record system with the Aspire database. So it's not going to be um, as in depth as we would like it to be right now, but this is certainly the first step and there'll be lots more things to come. So once you master this, everything else will be a lot easier as we go forward. So we're going to, to volley back and forth today. I'm going to walk you through just at a high level, the, the guidebook that you received. If you received the email from Aspire Rewards that tells you about the integration in general, you received a guidebook with that. I'm gonna kind of walk through some of the pieces on that. We're gonna have Victoria on her end show us the actual procedure flow and where this fits in as a provider or as a check-in or check-out person at your practice, where you'll be pulling in this Aspire information. And then we'll also cover a few FAQs for you some things of where to call for what, for what glitch or what, what issue, and make sure that there's really good clarity around who's doing what thing here so that you don't have to call us to then end up calling Aspire again. So, and you guys know if you have questions to put those in the question box, we will be glad to answer them as they come along. But hopefully you guys have seen the announcement come through and you have something that looks much like my screen in your email with a little link that says to click here to get a guidebook. And so what that basically looks like for you guys, if you're able to view, it's just like an account walkthrough. So when we leave this call today, we'll have the YouTube available to you, obviously on our channel, but this guidebook will walk you through step-by-step step as well. So if you onboard new hires, or if you furlough some people today, that'll come back when, this, when we go back online, you can share this, this particular guidebook with them. They can get it all done here. And as you know, you can always chat us on our website. We'll be glad to call you back or chat you back and get you some support there. But the first thing that you have to know about this is you have to be on the provider app. So today in the current scenario, this integration, although it is um, again, sort of in the primary first levels, it's only going to be showing up for you on the provider app. So it's not in the control center. So if you are using this integration to check for point balances, it has to be on the provider app. So if you're new to Aspire or new to, to AR and you've not yet used that, you're going to go to the app store on your iPhone or iPad, get your aesthetic record EMR app, download it, use your login credentials, and you'll be inside of the provider app. This is what you're going to use in the room with your patients. And so just to reiterate that, it's not available today in the control center because again, it's patient focused. Therefore, it's on the provider app exclusively today. As we go down the path a little bit further, we'll have reporting and things on the business insights tab in the control center. But for today, on the provider app. All righty, I see there are no questions. I'll continue on. So we're gonna start with some real life scenarios. It's always the best way to learn in my opinion. So we have a couple of patients who we have put into our system, three different use cases, if you will. And Victoria's gonna be our provider. She's gonna be Sarah Jones today and walk us through how to look for point balances, how to look for um, assigning people up and a couple other things too. So I'm going to unshare my screen um, and let Victoria start with on the first half which would be the actual patient check-in. So again, you can do this at the check-in or at the check-out. So we're gonna walk you through both scenarios. We're gonna start first with using Victoria's provider app of Sarah Jones to go through the check-in procedure. So Victoria, I'm gonna stop my share and let you go for it. All right, can you see the iPad screen? We sure can. All right, perfect. So for anyone that is new to Aesthetic Record, when you download your Aesthetic Record app, you will log in with your credentials. This is going to be just the, the first screen is just a list of all of your patients in the system. Um, so we do have a calendar function in the app as well. So let's say today I would like to look at my schedule. And I don't even know, what is today's date? <laughs> today's Thursday. The, the 16th. All right, so if I wanted to look down here, you'll notice that any of my appointments that are on April 16th would show up right here. So this will allow a super easy way to get to the patient's profile directly from this calendar function. So my appointment, 
All right. So as the provider right now, what I'm doing is I am just going to view um, Victoria's profile. So this allows me to enter in any particular demographic information about this patient. So if I wanted to add in like a profile image, you'll notice here that we can enter, you know, Aspire Rewards information. Um, but what I'm going to do is hit my back button here real quick. And you can actually check your patient in directly from the app. So if we wanted to check the patient in at this point in time, we can do so. So maybe they're going to room three and maybe today, you know, they'd like to learn more about Aspire Rewards or potentially become a member. So, let's add that in. And then you can send a note to the provider. So if you are a front desk user and you wanted to share this with the provider, um, that would allow you to then check this little box off, hit complete check-in, and it would send over to the provider. So the patient is checked in. So what we're going to do next is actually go into the patient's profile here. Actually, let's, let's wait, Victoria. Let's, let's go through and sign. You want to sign, sign you up? Sign them up? Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and sign them up. We'll do that. Let's become a member. Because again, on this side of the, of, the, of the fence, if you want to call it that, if the patient is not currently signed up, you probably can't do it from here because you've already checked yourself in. It has yeah. to be done at the check-in. Yeah. We can, so we that can last pick, screen that, that we saw. Pick someone else. You can, that, that, pick, you can pick yeah. Kenny. Let's go with Kenny. Kenny Columbus can be a, a Spire member today. He's not a Spire member yet. So you have two options here. If you're the provider checking in your own patients, you can do check-in here. If the front desk is doing it for you, they can certainly check them in as well. So anybody can check them in that needs to check them in, but you'd be able to do it both from here either way. Mm -hmm. So you see here, right. Kenny is not a member yet. So if Kenny, we'll show you in a second how it looks if there is a member. Kenny is not a member. So we have a become a member block there that we can choose to actually sign him up from this screen. So as long as Kenny has provided us with the basic information, it'll autofill. If not, we'll have to go through and do it for him. But we, we should be able to see that in just a second as you click the button here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that button to become a member. This screen will just allow you to verify that all of the details are correct. I am going to, let me just fill in some information here. We'll make Kenny a boy, not a, or a male, not a female. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and register. So at this point in time, if your patient is with you, what will happen is they will actually get a, an email um, with all the details for their Aspire account. So you could have your patient, you know, pull that email up at, the t at that time. And what you'll notice here, first off, um, we know that this person is now, or this patient is now enrolled in the program. And so right off the bat, they don't have any points. So that's giving us a real life feed of what you know, the amount of rewards that they actually have in their Aspire account right now. And for those of you who, oh, we have a Q&A, hold on, it might be one about to, what I'm about to ask. <laughs> okay, so if you don't use the check-in feature, you'll see it on the check-out feature. So if you're not using check-in, it'll be check-out. Um, so the person who's asking about male and female, that's an Aspire question. So in Aspire, um, we are only showing whatever the system can do. So in the Aspire reward system, it shows us female or male. In a medical clinic, we do identify via male or female for medical practices. You have to choose one for like insurance purposes. So we are just showing the gender based on the way that Aspire would render it. So if you don't use check-in or check-out, um, unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to use this to the extent that we're showing it here because the check-out function is to apply the, the Aspire coupons to the actual cart to take money off of the bill. And then check in is to be able to, re to look and see if they are a member already as you're checking them in. So all the information is in the system already would be able to be rendered here. So it only works on check in and check out. It's not a function that you can just use on a patient's chart, if that makes any sense. What I was going to say about the points, what Victoria just showed is under Kenny's name, it says zero points. But those of you who've used Aspire for quite a while know that you get a welcome certificate when you sign up for Aspire. So the way it works today is the welcome certificate does not show. So the patient would receive an email, which I'm waiting for Kenny. I think he's actually on. He's going to send me his email and forward it to me so I can show it to you guys. Um, it's coming his way. So he'll be able to send me the email. I can show it to you. But as Kenny goes in and verifies, Kenny as a patient has to still go into his email that he gets from Aspire and go ahead and click the terms and conditions. 
So the terms and conditions are still with Galderma and with Aspire. We're just facilitating a, an interface for them. So as, as Kenny, the patient, gets his email, he'll say, yep, I agree to be an Aspire. Here's my new password. That'll all be done for him. And then once he does that, he gets the welcome certificate. We don't show that here. We only show the points balances here. So you wouldn't have the welcome certificates here at this point. You'd be able to go into your Aspire portal as an HCP and actually select the certificate, redeem it through the portal side of it. So that's why it shows zero points for Kenny here. He's got a certificate, there's not points in the system. And while Victoria's moving on, I'm gonna go get the email out of my email and I'll share my screen just a second to show you what it looks like for Kenny. So give me yeah. one sec. Very good. And then Victoria, I don't know that I've got one on here with, if you wanna book, actually I can book myself. I've got points in my account to show. So if you want to go okay. through and show, um, as we're going through and checking out, I'll get this email show, showing right now. Let me just get into my Gmail. Yeah. As you're flipping over, I'll share my screen. So I want you guys to see the email that your patients get. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we want to, are you, you going to project that? I or am. Do you want me to take, one second. Okay. Yeah, let me switch over your screen share. I'm going to. I'm gonna take it from you if you don't mind. Yeah, you're good. Let me get that shown on my screen. Okay, let me know when you can see my email. Can you guys see it? It's loading. Yep, you're good. Perfect, so within less than a minute from the time that Victoria signed Kenny up, he received the email, which allows him to create his password and go ahead and finish off his Aspire enrollment. So as the HCP and the in the Galderma or the Aspire interface on our system, you cannot make your, your patient's passwords and you cannot agree to the terms and conditions. They have to still do something. So you saw Victoria's, thank you, you'll get an email soon screen. That goes to Kenny, he gets this email, he creates his link, he creates his information. And then as soon as he finishes with that, he gets his welcome to Aspire. He gets his little, you know, you're new to Aspire, here's your coupon code. So it all comes in a very quick subsequent manner as soon as she hits the enrollment. So the patient's not going on the waiting room, filling it all out, all the fun things that they have to do that they don't like to do. So I'm going to give you back your screen okay. and make myself an appointment. And then we can show it looks like when you have points in the account. So if you want, I think we have Kim, another test patient yeah. that we can do on checkout. Mm -hmm. I get myself pulled up here. All right, we can see the iPad screen. We got it. Okay, looks like we have a quick question before we move on. Um, so when AR interfaces with Aspire, what criteria is being used to match the accounts up, email or name? That's a great question. So the first level of defense is their email, which is, tends to always be unique. So it's gonna be an email first. So the email and then the name comes together. Um, obviously the cell phone number is in there, but it's based on their email. So you may have a situation where a patient has multiple email addresses and we need to reconcile those into one. So that's going to be a, a next level as well. So we can put them all together, but yeah, it's going to be email first. And then the birthday obviously is in there too. So it's like email, then birthday, name matching, kind of in the same order that Aspire does it in. All right. So what we're going to do now is we've just pulled up one of our little test patients today. Um, so at this point in time, if you are using aesthetic record for payments, you can click this take a payment button. We don't want to do that right now. All right. So let me add something into the cart. Well, autocorrect. Not dysplasia. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So now that we've got our checkout screen all situated, what we can do is click this wallet function right up here in the top corner. And then here you'll notice that this is a particular patient that we've enrolled in the Aspire Rewards program and it's showing us that there are zero available points at this time. And so if there were points, which we'll show you in just a second because I've put my name in there, which I think I've got points in my account. If mm -hmm. Kim did have points, let's say he had a thousand points in his account, 
he could go into right now, again, this could be changing soon, go into his patient profile, his patient portal, redeem that 1,000 points for a $100 certificate and be able to use it here. As you guys who use Aspire know, the biggest issue is that patients have no idea ever what they have in their account and they have no clue of how to figure it out. So at least here, this is coming in a real-time feed with Aspire. So if they've gone to other practices and been treated, they signed up for Aspire four years ago, they're already a member, whatever that may be, this is a real-time feed. So they would at least know where they stand to either decide to yes, go get points out, redeem them, or gosh, I have nothing in my account. So let's start from scratch today. So it's kind of an either an either way. Yep. And then right. we can so we want to gonna say we want to show our Victoria profile with the uh, 1000 points. I've got mine in there too. So Tiffany Lopez, okay. if you want to check me in. So we have two questions as you're doing that. So Matt, the reason the wallet says ten dollars is because our system has wallet functionality. So the patient would have had ten dollars from another another function. Either they've had a gift card for ten dollars, or they've put money on their account. So our wallet includes everything that the patient has, like on reserve in their account. So one thing that people do actually do is they will take a certificate, they'll redeem it, and they'll put the amount in the patient wallet. So if I redeem for $100, let's say as the patient, I say, hey, hey, Dr. Victoria, here's my $100. And she's redeeming that and putting it in my wallet. But that wallet that you saw there is not connected to the AR certificate. And then Terry's asking, can they redeem them through AR? Um, as of today, no. We're hoping that that's something that's coming in the near future. But as of right now, think about this as strictly your visibility as the patient provider to say they do or don't have points. And they can actually sign up and it's already all pre-filled for them. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have the right person, the right version of me that we can check in. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't. No, let's see. Let's see if you myself? have. Yeah, I think I checked, oh, I already checked in. myself in. Darn it. So I know we do have points in that profile. You know what I'll do real quick? Let me, let me book an appointment. Give me two seconds. We know we have these points in there. But if they do have points in the system, you would see it in that little box where they have points. So again, we don't, we won't be able to redeem for them right now, but you'll at least have a directional action to say, hey, patient on the waiting room side, as they check in to the system, you've got points available. Do you want to use them? If you do, great. Before you get to the, treat, the treatment room, go ahead and go into your patient profile, redeem them, get the certificate ready, pull it out, and then we'll let the provider know that you have $100 in credit. Because as a provider, you want to know that, right? You can upsell, cross-sell, add things on. So it's if you do it on the front end during check-in, it will allow you to use that information to leverage more in the treatment room, as opposed to getting to check out and then be like, oh, by the way, you've got hundred bucks in credit. Well, it's too late. I've already put makeup back on, done the whole thing. You know, I'm finished. So let's see here. Let me I have another question that just came in. So no, right now the treatment does not go back to Aspire. Again, this first level integration is just, are they a member? Yes or no? If the answer is no, you can join them. If the answer is yes, you'll see points. Second level, hopefully coming very soon, will allow you to do a lot of things that you're asking about, whether it's redeeming points and certificates or sending back to Aspire the inventory. So as of today's current status, you'll have to still go into your Aspire HCP portal to log the treatment and to pull the certificates into the patient's actual name. But as you do that, so let's say it's Victoria's our example, the $100, once we've redeemed that on the HCP side in our take payment screens, that $100 is an Aspire coupon that we can add. So we have an actual tender type in your take payment field that says Aspire or BD. In this case, Aspire, you'd have $100 that you just redeemed on the Aspire portal that now applies to Victoria's treatment. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Annette, that answered your question. But I know we're going with that to be able to write back to the system, wrestling, Discord, et cetera. We have points. Yay, we have points. We did it. <laughs> we did it. So if you guys right. think about, go ahead. I'm sorry, Victoria, go ahead. Oh, no, you're fine. I, it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward here. So as you guys know, the other examples that we showed you, um, it either gives us that option that, you know, there are zero points at this time, or they can directly become a member from the app. So in this case, we have, you know, our patient, Victoria. She actually has, you know, a little over a thousand points that she can use in the practice today. So that's where it's automatically pulling that information directly into the system so that, you know, with one click, you have access to actually see what's going on. So the idea here in a perfect world is Victoria comes to the front desk for check-in. I have my little iPad out and I'm checking her in and I'm like, oh, Victoria, did you know you've got $120 in Aspire coupons or Aspire points available today? 
do you want to use them? Victoria says, yes, I would love to use them. I'm going to get my Dysport done. Great. And the next five minutes that you're waiting, go into your Aspire portal and redeem your certificate and I'll take care of it for you. So that's all done prior to the treatment room occurring. Or Victoria says, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. You guys are managing it for me, which I'm not going to speak to that's compliant or not. Your practice can make the decision, but you can choose that on your own, however you're going to do it. But at least Victoria knows before going into the room as is a provider that there's 120 bucks and free money basically floating in the air that she can pull down and use on the front side of her appointment. So the, that's kind of the idea to check in is get it done in the beginning so you can apply it to an upsell, cross sell in the room. And if she redeems that right now, let's say she redeems for 500 points right now, 50 bucks, that will change to a 1225 minus 500. So you will not see that she pulled out money you'll just see the point balance change. You won't see her certificate in lingo out there. You'll just see that her point balance has been reduced. So you have to still ask the patient, do you have any that you've redeemed already that's, that's in your Aspire account? Because if she's already redeemed them, I've got to pull them from her certificate like portfolio in Aspire HCP and apply them to her name. This is just free unbound points that live out in Aspire land that aren't part of any certificate that's already been redeemed or anything. They're just living in her portal that she could pull down and make into a certificate. Hopefully that makes sense. Does there, is that clear for everybody on the, on the line? How do they earn points? Okay, an anonymous attendee. You earn points by getting Galderma treatments. So this is on the Aspire side, not the AR side. I come in as a patient, I get Dysport, that's 200 points. I get Wrestle and Lift, that's 200 points. So every, every treatment, the treatment and quantity of such treatments gives you points back to Aspire. So as you go into Aspire HCP and you log treatments for patients, that's giving the patient credit in their account with points. So let's say if I did five syringes of filler today, that's a thousand points total that I'm going to send back to the patient's portal, 200 for each syringe that we give. So they earn points through Aspire by getting Galderma treatments. And that's how we show the points in our system. Did that answer the question, anonymous attendee? I hope so. What else do we have? Any other takers? It's quick and easy, right? We think it's super simple. Very, very straightforward. So as you think about your FAQs, those of you who are using either check-in or check-out in our system, if there is an issue with points, so the patient's point balance is showing incorrectly, that's going to be an Aspire HCP question or an Aspire Awards question. So you're gonna call the Aspire hotline if for some reason you can't get the system to actually click to become a member and fill out the form and hit go, that's an, Aspire, that's an AR question. So as you're thinking about help functions, I think it's important to know that if it deals with earning points, redeeming points, certificate codes, anything that's Aspire related as far as like the Aspire program, you'll still need to call the Aspire hotline to get help with all of that. If you call us by accident, we'll help you get connected. If you call them, they'll help you connect with us too but we're going to be managing the functionality of Aspire within our AR portal. So if you can't click again the button, so come in where it doesn't work, you don't see any points on there at all, it won't save, you have an issue with the actual app working or functioning, call the AR team, either go on and chat us, we'll call you back, or email us and we'll call you back on our side. So there's going to be a bit of a confusion in the beginning of who's doing what thing. And as this gets more and more involved and more complex, we can do more things for you in our system. It'll become, again, a bit more confusing of who's doing what. But for now, just know points and things go with them for questions. Functionality comes to us for questions. And you can do it on check-in and check-out. Um, and don't forget when they sign up and they become a member in our system, they get the email immediately, which has their terms and conditions. It has their welcome 20 up to 60, I believe. Now it's a different amount, which you can still apply. You just will not see it in here because it's not a point. So you'll still get, Victoria will get her certificate immediately in her email, her welcome code, that you'll have to still go into Aspire HCP and actually attach to her name. It will never show up as points in the system. So any certificate that's already been redeemed, well, I should say converted from points to certificate, or that's earned on a promo or earned on a welcome, it's not going to show up in our, in our system as a balance. It's going to be just freestanding, non-bounded points that you see in our system. Is that clear? Hopefully. Can I get a hand raise or hallelujah, anybody? No? Thank you for raising your hands. I appreciate awesome. that. Matt Naylor, thank you for saying I'm perfect. I appreciate that. 
Tiffany, I have, I have a little question for you. So just, I'm thinking about common questions that we get with some of our AR accounts, um, who, you know, may or may not be new to the industry. So what type of advice would you give to an account who is, you know, exploring using one of these programs like Aspire Rewards? What are some tips and tricks or some reasons why you should use it? For one, because it's free money. <laughs> and who doesn't love free money? I think for your patients, the idea that they're earning something when they come in is very helpful. Um, whether whatever camp you're in, if you're in the BD camp, the Aspire camp, the Evelis camp, whatever camp you choose is not important here. But if you're loyal to a brand in particular, to a certain brand, then your ability to earn as, a, as an HCP more coupons is much easier. You're buying bigger promotions. So you're getting more of like, I think they had a Ray-Ban promo with Galderma a few months ago. You're getting more of those little tchotchke type promos. So if your patients are on Aspire, you're buying promos on Aspire. If everything's sort of in one bucket, in this case, Aspire, then you get more riches for what you're already doing. You're earning like extra, like having an Amex, you're just earning extra stuff. So I think for you as a, as a practitioner, all your eggs in one basket, you tend to get better purchasing power. For the patients, the good news is that Aspire markets to them directly for you. So if you are not doing consistent newsletters or social media or some of these more content heavy things, again, whatever camp you choose, that group is going to also be sending out emails to your patients saying, hey, have you heard about this new product or this new promo or this new thing? And then referring them back to their provider, i.e. you, to come in and get that thing done. So you get multiple channels of communication and you're also earning for things you're already doing. I think the other part is patients love to belong. I'm an American Airlines Executive Platinum member and I will fly that airline come hell or high water because it's my preferred airline because I have a point system with them. I'm a, I'm a VIP member. Patients will stick to something that they know and they also believe that Aspire is with your practice. I think it's your program, not Galderma's program in this case. And so they're more likely to keep coming back to you thinking that you're giving them the points and the free stuff, not another third party company. So my best recommendation is to use it because it's already there and to leverage it. They, you know, in this case, like with Victoria, our patient, she has 120 bucks. That's free money. She'll get an extra area or an extra syringe or something, even a skincare on the end of it, because she has this voucher that's already been paid for for her. So why wouldn't you leverage her free money to give her more things? Because you're going to get paid 120 in real money regardless. It's not like a free coupon. It's like actual money you get deposited in your account as an HCP. So I think to not use it would be crazy. Just crazy. Let's see here. And the other part of that too is keep good books. Um, part of the Aspire BD, all the challenges in the beginning for sure was as you're redeeming patients flow, some are redeeming Victoria's 120 points or 120 bucks here, is reconciling what you've redeemed against your actual invoices, against your actual reconciliation from the company. So if I give Victoria the credit, I wanna make sure that I'm actually giving the money back from Aspire and that it all matches together because now the data in my practice, especially coming back now, it's gotta be very, very accurate and clear. So making sure that you have a very specific flow of who checks them in, who does the redemption of the points, who does what thing, because there's even things like you can't get this support within 90 days. Like that's a big part for a patient to know you can't apply any coupons today. You just had this support a month ago. So there's gotta be somebody who's like your, your onsite captain it's like, I'm the, I'm the Aspire captain of my practice. I'm going to help with the patient flow, the procedures, the redemptions, the reconciliations, pinpoint someone who is your, like your voice of record for all of your processes around either Aspire, BD, whatever it may be, so that you don't find yourself kind of caught in this confusion of what's happening, is money coming in, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say, we just got a, a quick question here. So if you could just run through the process of Basically, you know, the patient comes in, we either sign them up for the program or we see that they have points and then just walk us through from start to finish. What, what does the practice actually need to do? I want to share my screen. How about that? Give me one minute and I'll answer this in a bit more detail. Let me get logged in here. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see here. Let me share. Okay, so patient comes into your office. Victoria is my, our example patient here. She does the whole redemption or looks at the system and it says, ah, oh, Victoria, you've got points in your account. So because of right now, we don't have the ability to integrate fully. I'm gonna go in as if I'm Victoria, but I'm gonna be me instead as a patient. And if I said, hey, Victoria, go in and redeem your certificate for your points right now. She's gonna go to her patient portal 
for Aspire, her patient profile. In my case, I'm Tiffany, not Victoria. And they're going to have to go in and redeem their points. So once they redeem their points, let's say I want to do 10 bucks. So again, Victoria has $120. She's got 1,200 points in her account. She can get up to a $100. So for me, they're grayed out. I'm not as rich as Victoria with points. She could get a $100 reward and I think a $20 reward too. But I only have 400 points. I'm going to get 10 bucks now and hit redeem now. And once I redeem, let's do it. The patient has now converted her points into a certificate. So she can do one of two things. She could look at this and write it down, her code. So now I have my welcome from signing up and my code. So she could actually screenshot this. And as the provider on my end, I go into my Aspire portal and either type in her code or it's already on her name. I just pick it and apply it. So the idea of having to still redeem for your patient in the actual Aspire HCP portal as the provider is still a reality. It still has to be done today. The idea that Victoria has to still take her points through this particular portal here, her patient portal, and redeem them for a certificate is still reality today. Again, hopefully not much longer, but there's still going to be the issue of the patient redeems, and then you as a provider have to apply. What you have now, though, is a window to see if they have points at all without having to go into it, the Aspire portal separately and look it up. So you kind of get that initial diagnostic without having to go into a separate portal. So if you're not familiar with how, with how Aspire works, your Aspire Galderma um, captain for the overall thing is your Galderma rep. They would love nothing more, I'm sure, than to find a reason to call you during the COVID-19 and help you. So if you don't have Aspire set up right now for an HCP, they'll be glad to walk you through it and get you set up on the system so you can figure out how to do redemptions and apply and get your money back and all that stuff. And then I saw that our only ones, I would walk you through an HCP account, but I'm not an HCP, so I can't do that. But those of you who have one know how to go in, you would search for the patient by either their birthday or their email. Um, either way, you'll be able to find them. And as you find them, these things, if you were looking for my name on your Aspire HCP portal, you would see both of these things showing up here to redeem. But again, the patient would have had to redeem the certificate for you to see it here on the $10. So diagnostic and AR, and then if there is an action to take, go into your portal and take the action as either the provider or the patient. What else you got, Victoria? Any more fun questions? We did get another question here. So Terry is asking, you know, when she's setting an appointment, how do we see the amount of points on a patient's account? So Terry, to answer your question, and Tiffany, I might take over share yeah, real quick. I'm gonna stop. You got it, it's all yours, hands off. I gotta go use those 10 points, those 10 bucks now before they expire. Come on, COVID. You gotta be done within 60 days. <laughs> All right. So Terry, to answer your question, um, you will notice here, and you know, as Tiffany has alluded, we do have more coming. This is our phase one release for it. But in today's state, what all you would need to do is if you book that appointment for your patient, you're probably, you know, obviously still going to be on the phone with them if you're booking it that way. Um, if you go up here to option and then do patient check-in, you don't actually have to check them in at this point, but you'll still be able to see how many, how many rewards they actually have available. So if you would like to just look and see, you can go through it this way. And then once you're done viewing that, all you have to do is click this little X down at the bottom and then you're done. And one best practice on that could be if you guys call, so obviously we send out reminder emails and text in the AR system, but some people still call their patients just to confirm. As you're going through the day before, so this is done in real time, the chances of a patient getting something done today at one clinic and coming to you tomorrow is very unlikely. So my guess would be if within 24 hours you check that balance, it's going to be the same balance tomorrow, unless they've redeemed points. When in that case, they're redeeming the points to then come into your clinic and use them as a certificate to apply. So if you're going through the day before, you can do this for all your patients like in a bulk effort, and just go through and like mark what they have in, in their system. But that's done on a like a real uh, a live, if you will, like a live highway between us and, and Aspire. Can't talk right now. So the thing to know is if there's ever a lag, so if you've got slow Wi-Fi in your clinic or you've got some issues with your connectivity, it's going to take it a second to advance. So you even saw Victoria, she had become a member. Within like the next two seconds, it showed her point balance. So you may, may want to give it like just a second to catch up and report back to you what the actual amount is. It may not be instantaneous depending on your connectivity. 
and she's using her Zoom and her iPad through the same like internet highway and it was really, really quick. So it should always be pretty fast. I'm just adding something to our wallet real quick, just so I can give you guys one more view. So um, if you are actually taking a payment, we took a look at this, you know, sort of at the beginning of our webinar here, but when you actually get to that checkout screen and if you click on wallet right up here, you will have that little Aspire box once again. So you can see once again, you know, how many rewards are sitting in that account. So that's just another place that you can obviously check to verify that everything, you know, is where it needs to be, so. And Victoria, can you walk us through, let, let's say you redeemed that. We redeemed 120 bucks out of your account and you gave us a certificate when you came in, how we apply that as an Aspire payment to the, to the treatment? Mm -hmm. so let me add that in real quick. So for those of you who, you know, have either used the AR wallet or maybe it's something new, um, when you get into the patient's wallet, you can add these Aspire credits, brilliant distinction, you know, you can add any of that in here. So if I just swipe to the left, I can click add. So if they had $120, um, and you can even enter in the coupon code here if you wanted just for record keeping. So we're just gonna put test for right now. We will add that in. And now I'm going to head back to the take a payment screen. Okay. So once again, now if we click here, and as a reminder, this is just showing us that this is what they actually have sitting in their Aspire. But if we click redeem right up here, oops. I'm using a test app, but anyway, what we would be able to do here is we'll pretend that this is a spire. We can enter that in. So we'll do one, whoops. I'm actually just gonna do like $10 right now. So we're gonna do $10, redeem. And on all of your sales reporting, the really nice thing about this is that if you are utilizing a spire, it's all line itemed on your sales report. So you'll have a really nice sales summary. You can take a look at it. You can sort by any time frame, multiple clinics, um, things of that sort. So when you're looking at your business as a whole and everything that's coming in and going out, um, that gives you a really, really nice snapshot to see, you know, everything at a glance. So, but once we're ready to go there, all we would have to do is hit our checkout button and then we would be finished. And so if you're using this to the point she made, if you go into your business insights tab, you can see every single day your tender types. You could see for the day, let's say today, how many Aspire points or dollars you've removed from patients and put into your tender type. So I could see that, let's say today it was just Victoria, I would have a $10 Aspire tender type for today. And you can see then overall the course of time, you can look at patient names and such that you, as you reconcile your reports against our system, there's a match. But again, she put this, so to walk through, she had to put the money in the wallet first to then pull it out. And subsequent versions of this, those will be steps you can not have to do anymore. We can eliminate those steps, but for now you have to do into the wallet and then pull it out as an Aspire credit against the receipt or against the invoice. We have another question. Um, let's see here. So any chance we will ever be able to see certificates as well as points in AR? And then she said, I'm guessing this goes along with mentioning we may be able to at some point, you know, redeem in the future phase. Jennifer, the answer to all your questions is yes, um, but that's all I can tell you, sorry. <laughs> but yes to all. Just know there are good things coming your way. So they have these things called like um, confidentiality agreements. No, it's just, <laughs> as things are being built and changing and evolving, we don't want to ever give you any false information that things are coming or happening or whatever. But yes, all these things are under, they're under consideration and development and working towards being able to be done. So Mm -hmm. Gretchen Taylor, I think there's some changes with brilliant distinctions coming in general. So I think stay tuned for that in the summer of this year just to learn more about brilliant distinctions. Right now, the only thing we're working with from a points perspective is, a, is the Aspire uh, integration. But hopefully, we'd love to have everyone on, involved. Make it, make your, if your life can be made easier as a practitioner, we are all for doing it for sure. Right. And then one thing I would say, which is not specifically Aspire integration related, but I'll use an example. So if you did the Ray-Ban, I mentioned the Ray-Ban promo earlier, those all have unique codes, as you guys know, as you apply them. 
if you wanted to be able to put on the patient's invoice that they got Ray-Bans as well, you can put the Ray-Bans in, or if it's a skincare collaboration with a spy or whatever it is you're doing, you could make those retail products in your clinic. So let's say I have 10 codes for Ray-Bans in my clinic, lovely lines. I could actually retail inventory 10 Ray-Bans. And then as I use those for patients, I could put the Ray-Bans on their actual receipt. So it's a nice way for the patient to visualize that I not only got some kind of a promotional price or package, I also got free Ray-Bans. So if you wanna be able to show the actual sample or the collaboration item of some sort, Ray-Bans in this case, on the patient's invoice, you can now do that via the retail products per clinic. So I'd recommend that also just to keep it all straight, you could start to see how many you've sold from your AR portal. So as opposed to going into your Aspire HCP portal, looking at how many codes do I have left, you could run a report in Business Insights to say, I've sold nine out of my 22 Ray-Ban codes based on my inventory allotment. So there's just some ways that you can use the system to inventory some of that to make it a little bit easier for you too. All right, anything else? I mean, you guys have been a good, quiet crew today. Well, stay tuned for more to come. Again, you have this, you have a little deck in your email from Aspire that walks through step-by-step -step everything you should know about how to do this successfully. So no need to, no need to panic if you didn't catch it all here. Just remember, check in, check out. Either way, you're going to go into your options for check in and look at points or on check out, go to the patient wallet and you can see points. But just don't forget that you still have to have the patient redeem for the certificates and you have to still put the money into the Aspire HCP portal or else it won't actually work. So we're just looking at this level one as the overview of do they have points and are they a member, period. But again, more to come. Victoria, what do you have? Anything else you want to say or talk about? I think we've gone over everything. So I would just say if anyone else has questions, there's that Q&A box at the bottom. Feel free to send your questions in. And I do have um, the Aspire hotline number. I can put that somewhere if we need it. I'll give it to all of our chat people so that they'll have it too. If you guys chat in incorrectly and ask, ask us one thing that they should be asking to Aspire instead, we'll give you that number back immediately to call them and contact them and get help. Um, but hopefully it makes sense about who to call for what things. And again, your, your um, Aspire or your Galderma rep would be more than happy to walk you through how to use this and how to use Aspire in general in your clinic especially right now. So give them a buzz. We'll help you out for sure. But we'll see you guys, some of you tomorrow, if you're a new AR user or you're just new and curious about our system, we're going to do a full demo tomorrow from start to finish, an overview of our entire functionality, including everything, all the bells and whistles. So join us for that. And then we'll see you, if not then, next week for lots more education and, and more demos and trainings next week. So enjoy another weekend in quarantine if we don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining. We'll see everyone soon. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow, we hope.